If you're used to working on a PC, this video will show you some of the basic differences between using Windows and OS X, the operating system on a Mac. Once you get to know the fundamentals, you'll find that it doesn't take long to get familiar with the Mac. The functions that you're used to accessing from the Windows Start menu and Taskbar are divided between the Apple menu at the top left of the screen and the dock at the bottom. The dock is a row of icons that provide one-click access to the things on your Mac that you'll use most often. On the left are icons for some of the programs, or what we call apps, on your Mac. Just click an icon to open it, and a light appears underneath to tell you that it's open. To instantly see all of the apps on your Mac, just click on Launchpad in the dock. It's easy to find all your apps here and you can organize them however you'd like. Even create a folder just by dragging one onto another. You can also add any app to the dock just by dragging it there. To remove an icon, drag it to an empty area of your desktop. But don't worry, this doesn't delete the original item that's still on your hard drive. On the right, just beyond the dividing line, you'll see two stacks, which are shortcuts to folders on your hard drive. The right side of the dock also holds your minimized windows, just like the Windows taskbar. To minimize a window, click the yellow button and it'll be sent to the dock. To open the window again, just click its icon. The green button will maximize the window to show as much content as possible. To close the window, just click the red button at the top left. The trash is at the far right side of the dock. On the Mac, many apps can expand to fill the entire screen. Just click the button in the upper right corner to see an app in full screen. A Mac works a lot like a PC, by pointing and clicking. But multi-touch makes it even easier to do things using natural gestures. Scrolling is simple although it's a little different than how you use a PC. To scroll with a trackpad, just use two fingers. You'll notice that on a Mac, it's like you're actually controlling your content on screen, rather than grabbing a scroll bar to move it. After a short time, you'll discover it's a much more intuitive way to move around on screen. If you're used to working with a two-button mouse on a PC, you'll feel right at home on the Mac. On most items, right-clicking, or what we call secondary clicking, will bring up a small menu of additional options. You can right-click using an Apple Magic Mouse, multi-touch trackpad, or virtually any third-party USB mouse. And on Macs with trackpads, you can right-click by putting two fingers on the pad as you click. For example, to empty the trash, you can use the Finder menu, or you can simply right-click on the trash icon in the dock. When you're on a Mac, gestures give you the most direct connection with your computer. You can do a lot just by touching, tapping, and swiping on the multi-touch trackpad. Use two fingers to scroll, and swipe with three fingers to change pages or switch between apps. You'll be amazed how natural it feels to work this way. When you run a program on Windows, the menus for that program are contained inside of its window. On the Mac, programs are called apps, and when you launch one, its menus always appear at the top of the screen in the menu bar. It's easy to know which app you're currently using, because its name will be next to the Apple at the top left. And when you switch apps, the name switches too, so you'll always know what application you're working in. If you're running apps in full screen, you can switch between them by just swiping left or right with three fingers on the trackpad. Quitting apps is a little different on the Mac. You can close document windows by clicking on the red button, but unlike the PC, it doesn't quit the app. To quit an app entirely, select Quit from its menu at the top of the screen. The menu shows you the keyboard shortcut too, Command-Q. You'll also find that many of the keyboard shortcuts that you use every day, like Copy, Paste, and Print, are the same. Just use the command key instead of the control key.
And to easily see everything you're running at a glance, use Mission Control. Click it in the dock or swipe up with three fingers, and you'll instantly see all open windows for all applications. Then just click any one to bring it front and center. On a Windows PC, you use Windows Explorer to view, organize, and manage your files. On a Mac, you use the Finder. To open a Finder window, just click on the Finder icon. It's always the first icon in the dock. You can easily access all your files and folders from here. On the left side of the Finder window is the sidebar. It gives you access to your favorite places, like applications and documents, shared or networked items, like another Mac in your home, and hard drives and other attached devices. It's easy to get to all of your files and documents from here, too. Across the top of each Finder window are the View buttons. You can see the contents of any folder as a group of icons, a text list, in column view for easy navigation, or using CoverFlow. Just tap the spacebar to preview any kind of document, even a video, without having to open it, even if you don't have the app. Moving your files from a PC to your Mac has never been easier. You can move all of your photos and music along with your important documents and other files. Just choose what you'd like to move and let the Mac do the rest. With just a little time, you'll find that learning the Mac is easy and fun.